Good morning, guys, and welcome to another episode of Bubba's Garage. I hope you guys are having a fabulous day. Today, guys, it is still cold right here in Texas, and I don't think it's going to get warm any day soon. Scott reached out from YouTube, and he sent us an auxiliary wiring harness for a Quadratech light bar. Guys, today we're going to be modifying that wiring harness to work with a switch pod, um, an Apollo Intech switch pod, or an S pod, or any of those other kind of pods out there. And it's actually really easy. It's not that hard at all, but today, that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna cut up a couple of wires. We're gonna show you how to do that. Now, I will tell you the auxiliary wiring harness from Quadratech is not cheap. It's uh, pretty expensive. It's uh, probably about a good hundred bucks. And the sad thing is, is you don't really need 90% of the wiring harness when you're hooking into an S-Pod or um, an Apollo Intex switch pod or some of those kind of things. And guys, we've done installs with the Apollo Intex switch control systems. We've done, I don't know, probably about three or four different Apollo Intex switch pod installations. Um, definitely check the link there in the eye in the sky if you want to check out some of those. We've also done the Quadratech J5 LED light bar right here on Bubba's Garage. That link there will be in the eye in the sky as well. But today, we're going to show you how to modify that wiring harness. All right, guys, for this modification, we really only need the wiring harness that we're going to deal with. We need some wire strippers, uh, cutters, and crimpers, a couple of connectors, terminal connectors. You can crimp those connectors and move on. You don't really have to solder them, but everything that we do right here on Bubba's Garage, we actually solder them. So I'm going to solder the connectors. So um, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so what we have is the auxiliary wiring harness, and if you'll notice, it comes with a lot of stuff. And the thing is, is we really, really, truly don't need most of it. I mean, really don't. So what we're going to do is we're going to set most of this stuff aside, and we're going to get to cutting away. Now, I don't want to cut this too short because I'm not sure exactly what Scott has got uh, for wiring. So what we're going to do is we're going to go about three quarters of the way and then we're going to trim up the sheath a little bit. Now that we got our terminal connectors on, we're gonna move on to soldering the connections. It just adds a little bit more stability to it, ensures that things don't break off, et cetera, et cetera. There you go. We have our connector here. For the light bar and now we have our modified connections for our source control system blue is going to be our positive black is going to be our ground we're going to take and we're going to put this well honestly we're going to test it out i have a j5 led light bar right here so we're going to set this up and test it out make sure it works <laughs> to see if we did it correctly. I actually wired this up into my eighth switch, the further switch, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn that on, and then we're gonna see if the light bar came on. I think that'll do the trick. Yeah, not too shabby. All right, guys, there you go. That is the modification of the auxiliary wiring harness by Quadratech. Uh, if you have any questions, definitely leave some comments down below. I'll do the best that I can to answer those. Guys, keep in mind, this is Bubba's Garage. We do the best we can with what we have. And, well, sometimes things pan out great, and sometimes they don't. Uh, nonetheless, it was a great privilege to be able to do this for you, Scott. Scott, we're going to package this up. We're going to get it shipped off to you. Definitely keep us posted on how things turn out with your new Rubicon. Saw some pictures of that mug, and it's pretty slick. Guys, if you like this video, do me a favor, give us a huge, huge thumbs up. And if you really like this video, and you want to stick around and find out what happens next, right here on Bubba's Garage, please subscribe. And until next time, we'll see you on the flip side. Good night, everybody.